Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're reading through Proverbs 4, 5, and 6. Have you ever had a dull mind? Um, I, I think we all have, and I, I think we've all uh, faced uh, distractions from time to time. And uh, we, we know, perhaps we know what we're supposed to do, uh, we just don't do it. And uh, when we start on that path, uh, it, it leads us in the wrong direction. And, and there is um, there's a condition, and, and Solomon speaks about it here, uh, where, where wisdom will sharpen our mind, um, but foolishness dulls us. And that's what we face all the time. That's what is happening in the world. You know, there's, there's two kingdoms, basically. Uh, well, there are two kingdoms. Uh, one is the true kingdom. It's the kingdom of light. It's the kingdom of righteousness. It's the kingdom of God. And then there is the, the kingdom of the false prince of, of this world. Um, it's fake, and, and it's, uh, it's everywhere. And uh, we're here representing the, the right kingdom, the good kingdom, the kingdom of light. Uh, and we're supposed to influence those who are under the influence of the, uh, the wrong kingdom, the dark kingdom. Um, we're not here to force anybody into anything, but we are here to definitely extend an invitation uh, because Father's desire is that nobody uh, would be lost. He wants everyone to be saved. And, and so that is our responsibility to, to you know, that the, the gates of, of hell cannot prevail. And, and, you know, gates don't do the attacking, do they? Gates keep people out. And uh, it's meant, those gates are meant to keep us out. Um, but we have been given the authority to enter in through those gates and to, uh, to really um, live in this place. But we bring the kingdom of heaven into this place so that uh, we can prevail and, uh, and people can be rescued. And in, in many ways, this is what Solomon is, is uh, describing here. Uh, wisdom is of the kingdom of God. And um, it, is, it is unfortunate that it is possible, even though you live by that wisdom and you walk with the king, um, that you can be tempted and you can fall to the, those temptations and, and you can be dulled <clears throat> and you have the power to, to say no. Um, you do have the power by the Holy Spirit in you to say no to all temptations. But if, if you do fail, if you do fall, um, His grace will cover you. But it is a matter of being willing to confess that thing. It is a willing to, to say, Lord, I was wrong. I did wrong. I rebelled against you. I, I am sorry and, and I repent of that thing. And, and you surrender it. You just give it over and, and he takes care of it. He fortifies you uh, against those things uh, for the future. And, and you, you believe that, you walk in that, and you move forward, you're refreshed, you're renewed, it's great. Uh, but there are those who decide to not confess it, to hide it, um, to keep it secret because they're embarrassed by it, as we should be of any rebellion. And, and uh, in, in doing so, uh, we, we leave the enemy a, a foothold. And um, he'll take full advantage of that, and and we get dull, and and, and more dull, and and repetitive acts of rebellion will eventually dull us to the point where we can't see anymore. Uh, we can't see the kingdom. Uh, we don't even run after it. We begin to doubt it. Uh, we 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 deny the king. We deny the existence, and and it's a terrible slippery slope that that we can go down. And I think all of us know of or have heard of people who have done this, who, who have been on fire, uh, but have dulled themselves uh, against the Spirit, uh, where they're not willing to hear, that they, they deny the Spirit, they quench the Spirit. Um, and, uh, and that's why the Word tells us not to do that. Don't deny the Spirit. Don't, don't quench the Spirit. Um, but press in. Press in no matter what the cost is, because every day there's a cost. Every day we have to pursue. Every day we have to be renewed in this. Every day, and uh, I and I just want to to encourage you in that. No, no matter what you've done in the past, today is a new day. His mercies are new every morning, and and when we bring those things to Him and confess it, He He doesn't hold those against us. Uh, that's not what love is, and He's the one who's defined love for us. So He He uh, yeah. 
Definitely. Forgiveness is, is received. For, forgiveness is given and received and there's restoration and renewal and fresh wind and fresh fire come in and it's really fantastic and that's the relationship we have. So I want to encourage you in that. Definitely pursue. Pursue wisdom. Pursue the kingdom. Pursue the Holy Spirit. Pursue that incredible, wonderful, uh, intimate relationship we have with Him. Uh, and don't give up. No matter how stupid you may be at times, don't give up because He loves you. Uh, he loves you past your stupidity. <laughs> Good thing, eh? God bless.